Hello everyone and welcome back to the 12 Days of Chris Wood series. We're on to day five, season five, and there's one announcement. Um we are no longer a 95 potential. We're 96 potential. It is absolutely through the roof. So I'm thinking this is probably gonna be your last season at Cardiff. Maybe um leave in January, maybe wait till the end of the season, because I'm thinking we could get to a mid to high 70 range, which I think when you hit that 21, that's when it's time to try to get a reasonably big European move. Start off by signing Sean Bosdigan, the 23-year-old 75 rated attack midfielder on a free transfer. Back into the transfer market, this time for Marco Cagna. 21 years of age, 75 rated young Belgian will join us from Man City. The door opener to the EFL Championship season will come against Brentford. So we start off the scoring nice and early a goal for ourselves. Then Brentford do equalize and then they do eventually go ahead. We get back on level terms with this nice assist. Our assist from us as we do go ahead, but then Ajedi on Brentford claims his hat-trick as he equalizes. Um, the 9 is 3-3. Quite exciting match in points will be shared. Sheffield United coming for us for an offer of about 18 million pounds. And we're just going to reject that because I'm just looking to go to a bigger European club. I think we really can. So we might have to wait till January to do so, but I'm willing to wait six months. Off to the rainy southern coast of England to take on Portsmouth in the Carabao Cups. We start off the scoring. Um, looks like we should be breezing through this one. But then Naylor on, on Portsmouth unexpectedly grabs two and we see ourselves behind. So we set things level with an assist to boss again. Then we grab three of our own to make us really breezing past. Uh, these games are good. Nice little goal fest will really help our stats potential overall. So it did pull them back to make the game 5-3. Eight goals in one game. A bit mad. But um, doesn't really matter. We still get our match ball. We get the win. Happy days. So just to look at our stats half of the season, we've gone up to the 76 overall, 21 years of age. We've got 17 goals, 3 assists, so already 20 goal involvements half of the season. That's like what we got the full season last year, I'm reasonably sure. So I'm thinking it's time. We're going to go ahead and add them to the trends list. I th um, just think we could get go to like a... I'm not saying like we're going to immediately make the first team like Real Madrid, which actually probably wouldn't be that big a thing right now. Let's just say we're not immediately going to make the first team at Liverpool or Bayern, but maybe like a kind of like top five level Spanish team. I don't see why not. Maybe we can be a standout player at one of the smaller European leagues. Like, I don't know, maybe like, maybe the Arreda VC, the Belgian League, you know, Ligue 1. Um, no, but, um... Just kind of thinking we could get that move to Europe, which will be good. Stay there a year or two, then kind of go to the Liverpools, the Bayerns. Got an offers from PSV and Salzburg. I'm going to go ahead and reject both of them. You might be thinking, what are you doing? Obviously, they're much better than Cardiff. But I'm going to reject every offer we get, even if it's from Real Madrid or Barca. Because what I'm going to do, I just want to see all the offers we get. So I'm going to reject every single one so we keep getting them. Then at the end of the transfer window, I'm going to manually transfer us to whichever club I, I felt is the best that we got offers from. So it's not like I'm going to get an offer from like a mid-tier port Portuguese team and transfer us to like BVB. It's not that. So let's. I'm just going to take all the teams that we got offers from and manually transfer to which I think's best. I think that's the best way to do it. I know it's cheating, but um, it's not fun unless you cheat. Already we get this offer from Ajax. So um, it could be very well be one of the best offers we get. So this is definitely a strong contender to where we could be going to play our football the rest of the season and beyond that. This three million quid player swap off from Brighton. This should be self-explanatory. Only gone and got this offer from Sporting Club to Portugal. Does this one just edge up of Ajax? I'm not sure. I don't really think so, but we'll keep it in mind. So it looks like this is the last time I'm going to see it in a Cardiff City shirt with no more offers coming in after the transfer windows closed. We, I have chosen Ajax as a club. Chris Wood is going to be off to 77 rated at 21 absolutely phenomenal 19 goals 3 assists in 37 games also brilliant as well so yeah this is it take your one last look off to the Netherlands so here we are we finally land in Amsterdam per chance that meme is so dead why did I say that so anyway our first look at Chris Wood and Ajax colors for some reason it saved some of our stats from Cardiff so like so it took the stats from Cardiff's domestic league and cup and just like transferred it to Ajaxes for some reason because we didn't have any European football so the European appearances are all blank so um which is kind of a bummer because we're not really going to get a fair look at stats at the end of the season um so any anyway it looks like we're set to make a European debut against Bordeaux in the first leg of the Europa League round of 32. So up against Bordeaux, we did concede to set off. Not ideal, not really what I was expecting. But then we did go ahead and get an equalizer in our debut. Massive moment for us really breaking really kind of breaking the ground breaking the mold in this new european campaign and then um they did go ahead and score a winner so not 
uh, not a completely ideal debut, but still some strong parts. So off to make our home debut, our league debut, in the beautiful, majestic Johan Cruyff Arena in Amsterdam. So we start out the scoring with this nice little assist. Unfortunately, that was met by a Vitisa equalizer. But then, um... So we got this cross sent in, which we probably would have finished, but um, it ended up being an own goal on Matisse's part, which is nice as well. But again, they find a way to equalize um, a little past the 80th minute. Looks like that could be the game, but then we pull back another assist in the 87th minute to win the game for us, 3-2 to Ajax. So here are our final stats of the season. They're a bit like kind of muddled, like messed up. Um, so they're not really the official stats, make of it what you will, but up to a 78 overall at 21, not too shabby at all. We will win the Red VC, Vitisa coming away with the Dutch Cup, Man City winning the Super Cup it looks like, and then Atletico winning the Champions League, and Wolfsburg will go on to win the Europa League. I think Bordeaux got knocked out like the quarterfinals. So that will be it to conclude Season 5. So it looks like we're coming up on the halfway point of the series and things are starting to heat up. We're finally at a major European club, lots of history. So I'm really excited for this. If you're as excited as I am, be sure to share it with your mates. Hopefully we can get a little more momentum. Um, so yeah, everything's appreciated. Cheers for watching. See you next time.